door closed. Keep the door closed. Whoa! Where's Viv? Whoa! What? Where's Viv? Where's Viv? Good? Good? Oh my god. Eric Hansen captures the moment one of several huge waves battered down on the island of Roy Namur. The area is in the northern part of Kwajalein Atoll in the Republic of Marshall Islands. Come again! Come again! The terrifying scene unfolding Saturday night on the U.S. Army Garrison Base, where the military says they support the U.S. Space and Missile Defense Command's Ronald Reagan Ballistic Missile Defense test site. By Sunday morning, the military sent an air crew to conduct damage assessments from above. The aftermath showing how the water inundation washed over the northwest side of the island, flooding at least a third of it. Garrison Commander Drew Morgan took to social media to discuss the challenging days that followed the island being hit by the massive waves. They caused extensive damage there that we're still assessing, but luckily there were only a few minor injuries. A total of 80 of the 120 people who called the island home had to be evacuated, the others staying behind to assess the damage and restore basic services like utilities. I have been so impressed with Team Codger's response and the outpouring of generous community support. This is going to go down in Codger's history books as one of its most challenging times ever in its 80-year history. We will get through this. By Tuesday, the military reported flooding from the waves damaged much of the unaccompanied personnel housing, the dining facility, a bar and grill, the chapel and theater were moderately to severely damaged, and the automotive complex remained underwater. Officials now doing whatever possible to recover and care for those impacted. Operation Roy recovery in full effect, but expected to take months to complete.